Hello, welcome to my very tiny home office where I do some 3D printing. I decided to finally make a video. I really don't know why, but, <laughs> but I am. Um, because I had something I could finally maybe try to address. So I really love the Bamboo Lab X1C Carbon. Uh, I have not used it to the full capability that it has yet. I haven't printed anything in nylon, carbon nylon. But what I have run into is I really like, I was just opening a new roll. I really like the Overture matte PLA stuff. This is a beautiful green. Uh, I think I'm really gonna like it. Um, but the issue is, is that when you first open up your Bamboo Lab, it has a little disclaimer in there for the uh, AMS, uh, auto, the automatic uh, filament extrusion machine fancy thing. It says they don't, it, that it doesn't like uh, cardboard spools, which is a little disappointing uh, because you either have to purchase a bunch of plastic spools, go to only plastic spools, um, or you have to re-spool all of your cardboard onto another uh, Bamboo Lab spool. The Bamboo Lab comes with a spool. Um, I should have had one out here to show you, but don't. Um, I don't have so much time to make videos, so I can't do a lot of editing. I'm just going to have to try and go off the cuff. Um, but. That was a little disappointing for me. Uh, so I actually ran, I, I am running right now, two cardboard spools in there. So I'm not actually sure, I should probably go read up on why they say you shouldn't use it. Um, I can gather that it may be because the edges um, will wear down over time. It's not as rigid and the, uh, the stepper motors for the extrusion like they move, they move it back and forth. What I did notice is I had a uh, white PLA overture in there, and it, and uh, when the spool got down to probably a third, uh, it overloaded the stepper motor. I think what happened was it just I, I'm not exactly sure why, but it it changed where the you know the wire is coming from the outside here, so it can just move the wire at this point. But when when the when, when the filament gets closer, it moves where it's pulling that wire from, and so it fundamentally changes how it's pulling on that filament. And so it just, it, it's not gonna work past a third on that roll. So I've been trying to figure out different solutions to that. The first thing I did was I went to good old Thingiverse and I found a really cool AMS printed, uh, just uh, rollers, it's got little grooves on it and it pretty much fits snug on the outside of this roll. I, I would feel happy just, you know, snapping it on here and putting it in. However, the problem I ran into on these overture rolls is that it makes it too wide to actually fit in there. And and there's a, there's a problem right there. I just tried to pull it off and it just started separating this cardboard here. So I think what I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try a couple of different options. Uh, the first one, because it's the easiest, is I'm probably just gonna get some tape and I'm gonna just get a roll of tape and just go all along this edge and really crimp it down to try and hold it all together and maybe give it more of a, a, a rigid surface for it to pull on uh, and see if that makes a difference. Uh, the Second thing I'm gonna try, if that doesn't work, is some sort of bonding agent, like uh, a glue, maybe just an Elmer's glue, and just go along and just have it soak right in the edge here. Uh, maybe even like something like a uh, uh, Flex Seal, <laughs> maybe. Uh, 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 plug Flex Seal products in there. Uh, but hey, if it works, I'll let you know. Uh, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm in the middle of figuring that one out, but. I don't want to stop using the Overture stuff in the MS because of uh, just how handy it is. Uh, so yeah, welcome to my first video, my first little rant. Uh, that's about it. I'll see you later.